Everybody is frightened of only one thing, the gun. One shot, pam! Life is gone, it shocks, it stops. You are dead. And that's what the whole yoga talks about. Shavas in the corpse position. And everybody knows the corpse position is the most difficult part of the whole asanas. That is one man in India without a gun, just on his writing, shocked many people. Usually in the classrooms in colleges, children make a lot of noise, students make a lot of noise. When in big, big conferences also nobody's listening. This is only one man which made the whole of India or most of part of the world shocked. And in that silence, whether they listened or not, it just, they melted with that story. Such was the power of this simple man who wrote several truthful facts. R.K. Narayan, the second quote, I'm talking about this shocking human being. R.K. Narayan said, you become a writer by writing. It is a yoga. When I was studying Zen, this is one quote which keeps ringing in your ear. Year, years, day after day, hour after hour, minutes after minutes. What is Zen? The question, what is Zen? <gasps> and for a second, everything stops. And you ask the same question to a Zen master, what answer you get? He said, when you are eating, you are eating. When you are sleeping, you are sleeping. And then you think if that is that simple, then why such a big philosophy? That's all, yes. The first, first of all, there was no philosophy. The philosophy came, first of all, the question which came, what is Zen itself, was a, a, a confusing thing. It confused because you got disconnected from your family, your joint family and the family tree. And you kept on borrowing and kept on storing things without sharing it, without cleaning your pot. And that's where the answer came. When you are eating, you and only that food is one. Nobody else exists. You, when you're eating, you enjoy that eating. You will taste every part of it. You will understand every part of it. You are so conscious. The body will accept only if it is needed into the body. Balance, it will automatically stop. Such was the power of that eating. If you know to melt with that eating, then that is Zen, it seems. If you are sleeping, you have a beautiful, but that beautiful sleep and the beautiful eat will not come. It comes only from your sweat, the hardest of your sweat. And then when you go to eat, you will only enjoy you and the lover, that food becomes one. It melts, it absorbs into your body and in that absorption, in that in, in, the, in that positive and negative, a new light blooms. That is electricity. That is a new path, a new energy, a new finding. And in that finding, in that path, you have seen or felt the truth. And in that truth lies God. And when you are sleeping, you cannot just go to sleep because nowadays people take a lot of medicines to go to sleep. No, you are, it's not possible to sleep and you will not get sleep just like that. To sleep, you have to sweat physically, yes. The physical is very important and if you unbalance the physical and the mental, mental only mental and no physical, then you have to take tablets, then you are not sleeping 
you were forced to sleep that means you accepted slavery from a borrowed medicine that means you any anybody can control you when you are sleeping you work so hard you sweat so hard you practice so hard sleep comes off its own you do not even have to use the word i slept and you wake up when the body has said it is enough of sleep it wakes up. in that waking hour you are conscious to do your meditation early birds catches the best prey you ultimately get up when the sun rises you become a writer by writing yes you keep on writing and then your name is you don't have to worry whether you are going to become rashtra kavi or you are going to become and going to get a nobel prize in literature it comes of its own because you will write and you will write till you sweat and your finger and the hand and the mind cannot any any more move you will be sleeping on top of that book totally unconscious that you become a writer it is a yoga means a way of life such is the power of a man when you are a man you behave like a man you don't borrow something from the women and beat up the women and women don't borrow something from the man and try to trick the man that's where the husband and wife will always have to go to a third party called the court for divorce that is artificial that is slavery you accept the slavery by allowing a third person to remove control you then arke narens all that shocked the world cannot allow you to shock the devil arke narens said you become a writer by writing it's a yoga try that word